Hi, and welcome to the Indiana Wild Animal Update, where we celebrate human-animal cultural connections. I'm Alligator Aaron. The Indiana Wild Animal Update is presented by Holistic Select Dog and Cat Food. Guinness obviously loves it, with support from Pet Supplies Plus. Indiana Wild was able to bring live animals and celebrate human-animal cultural connections to over 24 schools, child care centers, and a few museums and nature centers just last month, thanks to the support from Pet Supplies Plus and Holistic Select. Let's take a look at the animal activity headlines from last month. Okay people, don't get too grossed out, but I heard a restaurant in Arizona was going to serve tacos with African lion meat, which is gross. I mean, predator meat usually doesn't even taste good. But the real question is, how can you serve lion? And more importantly, where do you buy fresh lion meat? Firstly, Indiana Wild is opposed to eating any, any animal listed as endangered by the IUNC or the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Long story short, lions aren't listed as endangered, so the restaurant theoretically could serve them and we could theoretically eat them. Yuck. That restaurant has a history and reputation for serving weird animal dishes. The good news is that they canceled the lion tacos. They are not going to serve lion. They are moving on to serving bugs. Yes, bugs. People love bugs. They stay crunchy in milk. <laughs> I would have a hard time eating bugs. I'm more steak and sushi than six-legged and buggy, but lots of people around the world eat bugs. And eating the right bugs certainly is healthy. Bugs are packed with protein, vitamins, and nutrients. And for all you green living types out there, bugs are very, very environmentally friendly. It's green to eat bugs. It won't just make you green. <laughs> Many people around the world eat bugs. And it's not just the poor people eating bugs. People in Africa, Asia, and South America regularly include some type of bug in their diet. In some countries, bugs are even delicacies. Not too many people eat bugs here in the USA, but a few years ago, not too many people ate sushi in the USA either. Combine that with how expensive food is and the fact that the International Monetary Fund just said that we were going to experience food shortages around the world, economists are projecting that the cost of food will rise in 2011 and many areas of the world will experience food shortages. Probably not in America, but you will see the price of your hamburger go up in 2011. Bugs make environmental, economical, and agricultural sense. It costs a lot less and takes fewer resources to raise and harvest bugs than it does to raise and harvest proportional amounts of cattle, poultry, or swine. So I predict bugs will be coming to a menu near you. Speaking of eating bugs, who likes lobster? I do. Lobster, shrimp, I love seafood. Well, those creatures are arthropods and are closely related to bugs but I want to talk about crayfish. Who likes to eat crayfish? Crawdads, mud bugs, whatever you call them. Folks in the bayous down south eat crayfish. I used to catch me crawdads growing up in Fern Creek. Well, the incredible thing is, scientists just discovered a new species of crayfish in Tennessee. It's huge, twice the size of the other crayfish. I'll say it again. They just found a huge, brand new type of animal running around wild in Tennessee. Not the jungles of Indonesia, not thousands of feet beneath the ocean, just eight hours south of Indiana, right down I-65 in Tennessee. New animals are discovered all the time. Usually they're small, usually they're in the ocean, but sometimes a rare gem like this new crayfish is found right where you least expect it, right in the southern United States of America. Okay, enough creepy crawly animals. There was a study in Germany that I found very comforting. German researchers discovered that dogs don't recognize irrational or crazy behavior in people. So Guinness doesn't even know when I'm acting a fool. I could be loonier than a mosquito at a nudist colony. <laughs> Guinness wouldn't judge me at all. No wonder dogs are humans' best friend. They see right past our weird behaviors and don't care. The researchers found that dogs, when they learn things, don't copy behaviors and that they pretty much cut to the chase on what is important to achieve their goals and go right to it. Aha, Guinness has goals. For instance, 
Guinness would not care if I pointed to the holistic select dog food with my hand or with my foot to show him where the food was. He only cares where the food is, not how wackily I pointed out. Dogs are smart. That about does it for our human-animal cultural connections for today. If you want more human-animal cultural connections or a fantastic live animal program for your daycare, school, scouts, or church group, email me at Indiana Wild, Aaron, indi at indianawild.org, or visit our website, www.indianawild.org. And for all of your pet needs, remember to shop at Pet Supplies Plus, conveniently located in Avon, Broad Ripple, Greenwood, and Noblesville. Indiana Wild and I have some exciting pet seminars coming up at each of the Pet Supplies Plus locations. Be sure to check the website and join us there. This has been the Indiana Wild Animal Update, presented by Holistic Select Dog and Cat Food, made right here in Mishawaka, Indiana. We'll see you at Pet Supplies Plus. Be wild.